All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm doing a quick little comparison on a 2008 Kubota BX24. That's the uh, 24 horsepower little subcompact tractor. It's pretty much the same as the 24, I think the 25, and then now also the 23S, I think is the current model. You know, like those small Kubotas. Um, I've had one for a few years now, four or five years. I've sold it. I've moved on to an LX2610, brand spanking new. It's supposed to be delivered in like an hour. So I'm super excited. And I just, before I get rid of my other one, which is already sold, I just wanted to kind of do a quick video having both machines side by side. Maybe try and do some lifting comparisons, take a look at the backhoe, and just give you an idea. Like maybe you were like me looking for a video on the internet on the 23, 24, going to an LX series to see if, uh, you know, what the differences are side by each. So that's what this video is, a quick little comparison. So uh, yeah, waiting for the machine to get here, wherever he is. Let's go. I want to take a little video of the offloading of the tractor, but Buddy was busy and, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, right away, the tractors are huge, huge difference. I mean, you're going from subcompact to compact, although same horsepower, um, the buckets, you know, I don't know if you get twice as much material, but you at least get a third more. Uh, tires, the ground clearance is huge. Um, it really is like way noticeable. And that's really gonna help me too, because if you're um, familiar with this channel, I'm actually uh, working on a market garden in the back. So I'm pulverizing these little saplings and some trees and just the extra ground clearance is gonna be, is gonna be awesome. Uh, the backhoes are, you know, I think this is seven and a half feet or seven, seven inches or something. Yeah, seven and a half. And this one was about four feet. <clears throat> so that's the BT-601, this is the B-877. And just the platform off the back of this tractor is quite a bit more. Like the whole length is, I got them pretty close, but you know, you're at least a couple feet longer, probably a foot taller. Um, which is pretty good considering the ground clearance and the size of the tractor, the fact that like, <clears throat> although when I'm standing on the thing, hopefully being 6'3", yeah, feeling safe. Um, oh, there's my wife. <laughs> Shoot a video, come on in the video. Oh yeah, you haven't seen this yet, have you? Wow. I know it makes that one look kind of like a, uh, like a toy. Like a toy. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool, eh? So pretty. Shiny. Wow. And look at that. You actually need to like step up on it. Yeah, you do. You just sit so much higher. Wow. Like it feels. It looks like the. It looks like the same, but just like blown up. Like. Yeah. It, it's, it's funny, I beat the tractor. Oh yeah, the fuel cap's <laughs> up here. That's interesting. Nice. But this is all metal, whereas that's plastic, and I don't know if I made a video of me repairing the old hood, but it was a nightmare. Oh, no. <clears throat> yeah, this thing, yeah, four wheel drive, obviously. It's got three different ranges, neutral, a, a high range, and then a medium and then a low. So low must be real creepy, creeping creeping down the road. But then the backhoe, what else we got? I know. <laughs> Where else do we got? Oh, there's a cruise control, parking brake. And I think there's something about, I gotta check the manual right away, but there's a way to put a security Thing in a button oh. sequence because oh. <clears throat> all the Kubota keys just like the other Kubota are very basic I mean oh, yeah. I feel like a child could cut a key like that cool. yeah all right love you <laughs> you gotta say hello to all the viewers <laughs> yeah getting on and off the platform because obviously that one like you know there's no there was no step although I think they made an aftermarket step for it but uh I could see myself slipping off of that. <laughs> um, yeah, so main reason I bought this, it was uh, the quick attach bucket, a little more capacity. I want to get some different skid steer attachments. Um, so I wanted to go with that. Digging depth, I wasn't overly worried about it. Like the four feet was okay for my trenching, but I do dig out a lot of trees. Um, and I do got some, some heifers back there. So the extra backhoe um, power and the reach, so I don't have to set up as far. I think that's really going to help me. But yeah, let me throw the clamp on forks on both of these tractors. I can show you, um, let's put them on the little Kubota first. We'll do a lifting comparison. I'll grab the big piece of uh, little homemade uh, rack that I have here of uh, wood 
I never could lift uh, lift it with a with this tractor, unfortunately, only about halfway. And then we'll see if this one takes off, which I imagine it will because it's rated for 535. Um, I think it says kilograms probably. And these little ones, I think, is two something, isn't it? Yeah, 240. So yeah, over twice as much. So let's just do the little comparison. We'll do a lifting comparison. I'll see how it feels. And then maybe we'll set the back. Oh yeah. No, can't even do that one. And this is always an issue for me because I, you know, we have a wood stove and I got a little, a little spot up front where I put all my wood. So I'd like to take this whole thing, fill that up and then return it. So let's go put the clamp forks on the big tractor now and see what it can do. We'll also get it dirty. Well, here we go. First mud. <laughs> way quieter right off the bat yeah way bigger unit I'm gonna put it in four-wheel drive covered in mud <laughs> yeah way bigger unit um, try and get that same skid I won't bother with this big monster one right now I'll just get get in here yeah wow let's see how high up this thing goes too Wow. <coughs> that is quite a bit higher, several feet more. Oh, if, yeah, the hydraulics, yeah, really touchy on the way down. The hood is very big. I can hardly see the, I can hardly see the uh, forks. I'm gonna put it in low, low. Oh yeah, now I'm creeping, okay. You do gotta stand up a little bit. I can't quite see underneath oh the seat it's creeping but oh yeah so that's interesting now I know these are call it underpowered with the hydraulics But you can see that, that's like, oh yeah, it's going, but real slow. So I kind of almost figured this might happen a little bit. You know, I was able to get it up, <laughs> get it up. I think I would make it to the house safely. Um, you know, the problem with clamp on forks, obviously, is you're so far away from the load. Like eventually I'm going to be getting a skid steer quick attach uh, fork, which will subtract the bucket weight. Um, which will save quite a bit. And I, I don't imagine I'll have any problem lifting these. The fact that I can lift it from that far away, if I bring the load right in and reduce the bucket, the, the weight, um, I should have no problem getting them up. Those ones might be tricky, to be honest with you, you know? So uh, that's a lot of wood though. Like, my God, that's, that's way bigger than an I, I, uh, IBC tote or whatever those, you know, guys make those totes. So yeah, still impressed. I mean, I wasn't able to do anything with the other bucket, so. Definitely a, uh, a plus. I would have liked to see it go flying in the air, but I know these are underpowered. I know a lot of guys are putting uh, shims in to get some hydraulic lift out of it. So you never know, might be the first mod. Uh, let me go, I'm gonna set this thing up and see if I can figure out how to run the backhoe. All right, so like, as soon as I went to go set up the backhoe, I was like, I don't know how to use the seat. Um, so I pulled it up a little bit here and I see there's some linkage. First, if you pull this forward, it pops up. Oh, rotate it midway, I guess. Oh. There you go. Got a step here, similar to the other one. A lot more leg room, that's for sure. Um, so now this bucket looks like it's uh, so. Oh, outrigger pads are. A little weird. 
So now this is kind of like a backhoe where you got to pull it all the way back and there's a lever here. Oh yeah, with a locking pin. And then this lock here for the left and right. Yeah, right away this bucket is not quite twice as wide, but it's definitely bigger than I would want for trenching. So I wonder if you can get, imagine you can get a, uh, wow, that goes quite a bit further out. Now before you could, they had like a stopper on that one, but oh yeah, so right away I can see, I can dig almost completely sideways. That's interesting. Um, with the old Kubota, my range of motion, um, you know, it wasn't a 45. It was, it was out there, but it wasn't nearly as wide as that. Cause that's really going to help me when I'm doing my tree stuff. You know, um, I'll be able to dig it, dig it off and bale the dirt further. Um, which I think should help me. Now I'm not going to do any digging here, obviously, cause it's a shitty driveway I built, <laughs> but it's pretty quick. I've got about 1500 RPMs. That's 1900. Same controls. Yeah. Huh. Very interesting. I don't know what the. I'm going to take it easy for the first few hours on the RPMs there. Just let her kind of break in a little bit. Let the old rings get seated. But uh, yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, it's quite smooth. I'll say like uh, probably smoother than the other Kubota. I like too the uh, these stabilizers. They stop like with those. Your feet can almost get caught where the stabilizer. Are. Just so much more room. You know, bigger tractor, obviously though. They definitely poured the grease to her. Holy God! All right, we'll just do a quick little walk around now. Like I was saying, this video was assuming that you already have a, a small some subcompact tractor. Um, like the Kubota BX24 and you're trying to see if you want to move up and you know get a closer look at these things so yeah I'm really impressed by the hoe um, right off the bat like it's it's quite a bit larger um, feels better tires everything looks really solid again the ground clearance I haven't messed around with the quick connects yet I don't really know what I'm doing with those but to me it's just a pin so you know you open those up and then that pin releases and then I should be able to uh, take the take the uh, bucket off like this is a 60 inch bucket so like I was saying um, the wood test kind of looked like a fail really for the brand new tractor but um, it's a lot of weight I'd like to get it weighed up and see what one of those skids weigh but yeah that's her um, in all her glory, the seat is nice. Like, the seat to get that seat over was always such a weird, weird, weird <laughs> procedure. It felt very flimsy. This is much more solid. And, um, yeah, I want to get underneath and have a look at the uh, skid plates because I do a little bit of bush work. So I want to see, I can see a little flange right there. I wonder if they, they, they must make something for it. But it, otherwise, I'll be fabricating something because I do have a lot of bush work coming up. I think this is the brakes. That's so pathetic, eh? I think those are the brakes. Yeah, so I'll probably be taking this thing off. I don't do much road driving. I will be looking for a smaller bucket though. I don't need whatever that is. 16 inch bucket maybe. And this is a 12. Yeah, a 12 inch bucket. Yeah, that's really good for the size for trenching. So I imagine I could get something swapped out just because, you know, you're pulling so much material out. It's blowing right out. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to this channel, we're a homesteading and how to channel. And uh, if you can help behind me, I got a lot of sawmill to do. So I got to get this shut down. The rain's coming. I want to get the tractor inside of the garage so my girls can play on it. And, uh, the old one, actually, I got a pressure wash and load on the trailer right away because it is sold. And um, 
I gotta deliver that tomorrow morning. So, lots to do. Um, definitely consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Good. So, what, what do you think of this new tractor, Why? Uh, I love it, and I'm pretty new to driving. <laughs> yeah, you are pretty new to driving. Cheese.